It hits series billions opposite actors Paul Giamatti and Damian Lewis. Sip plays Wendy Rhodes, the wife of U.S. Attorney Chuck Rhodes. She's the in-house performance coach for Axe Capital, a hedge fund run by her husband's nemesis, billionaire Bobby Axelrod. Here is a preview of the season three finale. Let's do this thing. Remember, they're not buying your proprietary trading platform. They're not buying your strategies. They're buying you. Remind them that we have the answers, that they are safe in your loving arms. Like Barry White. Oh, he'd have had them hands in the air weeping and singing along, so yes, exactly like Barry White. <laughs> Billions airs on Showtime, a division of CBS. Maggie Sip, good morning. Good morning. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Wendy is caught between these two men who are, you know, at each other. Where? So where is she at the, in the series right now? Oh, in the series right now, she's, you know, there's there's been a slight kind of denouement or like peace between the two titans and they're kind of each engaged in their own major struggle with different adversaries. So mm -hmm. in some ways, it's a more comfortable position for Wendy than she's been in. I feel like she can fully kind of devote herself to like doing her job at Axe Capital and sort of being a partner to her husband. Um, and uh, but they're both gearing up for big fights, so everybody's kind of like in a heightened, revved <laughs> condition. <laughs> Describe her role at Axe Capital, what she does, what her kind of official role is, and then wh how she expands that role. So she's the in-house psychotherapist slash performance coach for these these traders, but in particular, she's sort of Axe's right-hand woman. Um, so she's you know she's sort of part conciliary, part uh, you know pep talk part like the only person who can get through to him when mm -hmm. nobody else can get through to him like um, in the last episode you saw her like knock on his meditation room door and walk in nobody yeah. that. <laughs> I, I, you and I have talked about this before but your character is one of the most fascinating because you're this performance coach counseling people trying to perhaps bring out the best or the worst in them mm -hmm. but this season I, I hmm. had the sense that she was also manipulating people mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, there's been a slight <laughs> not over good. Well, yes. I would say um, I would say where she sits morally is a little more more ambiguous. ambiguous this you know, she's yes. gotten more tangled up in the law herself. She's been implicated. She's had to do things to protect her family, things that you've never seen her do before, and that's that's brought her a little bit closer to the moral compass of those two those two guys, which yeah, I think has actually been a really interesting component for for the character because you see the the kind of depth and charge that she can have when she chooses yeah. to exor exert more. Because the men in the, in, in the show, um, your husband, Chuck Rhodes, who is the Attorney General, <laughs> he skates around like this, around the law, mm -hmm. and he's oh, yeah. personal like this, <laughs> and does act. And so it's interesting play. now to see, in the beginning, I thought in the first two seasons, you were sort of the straight and narrow, yeah. kind of also navigate this. Yeah. You know, it's funny, it's like, uh, as, a, as a character, I think it's easy to get attached to being kind of morally righteous, mm -hmm. and to, to sort of enjoy playing that position, but as an actress, I sort of feel like, in a way, it's more interesting yeah. when you get a more 360-degree yeah. sort of perspective yeah. on, on a person who's imperfect. Right. And so I've really welcomed those changes, because yeah. I think it's given me more room to play, and it's made the character a lot weirder and kind of more dimensional. Yeah. She's totally a multivalent character. Yeah. But I don't think people know you worked at a Wall Street hedge fund in your 20s, <laughs> which is interesting in and of itself. Yeah. That is a tidbit that has gotten out into the world. Well, but I, I think that, I mean, the thing about this, this show is it yeah. humanizes what's happening on Wall Street, which yeah. we know largely in terms of like numbers and crimes and news and so forth. Yeah. How did that experience shape how you play this character? So that was a very brief job that I had. I maybe did it for three weeks. Okay. My my friend, a friend of mine from high school, was dating a guy who was a trader, a hedge fund, who worked at a hedge fund, and as a favor, he gave me a job because I was an out of work actor. And he was like, "You seem maybe a little bit smart. I'll sure I'll hire. Come on, I'll hire you." And I I just helped him do like research, and but mostly I didn't understand anything that was going on, and I was like, "I need an acting job really well, soon." Well, well, you sure understand acting. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand so much it. For being I figured that one out. Love the show. Thanks. Love the show. The season three finale of Billions airs this Sunday on Showtime. And a reminder, you can hear more of CBS This Morning on our podcast and iTunes and Apple's podcast app. You are watching.